she likes, what she likes And she could put it all on you, baby If you bout that life, bout that life Because you don't got time to choose it Hey tribe, it's Kia from Heritage93 and I've been sifting through some long nail care content that has led us here to the busted, crusted, peeling, curly hair entangled round nails. It seemed like the perfect time to film the girls as we were stockpiling the wintertime wood. Note the dirty sediments under my nails in that one tiny but painful hangnail that has been rubbing against my not so gentle glove every time I grab a new log. So about this short nail bounce back tutorial, I went ahead and asked the Instagram tribe, you know, how long should this tutorial be? And so a longer than normal tutorial is what the girls are giving today. This one is especially for the hardworking nail lovers who have the busted nails to show for it. While you're doing, you know, tasks around your house like piling your wood or pumping air into your tires. Side note, I have no idea who needs to hear this, but with the temperature dropping, if you see the tire gauge light up in your car, you know, go ahead and put some air into your tires. We had a random occurrence that inspired me to relay the message to whoever needs to hear it. So yeah, in this video, we're gonna take the edge off of the nails and restore them back to full health by every means necessary. Ready to watch? Let's get started. First, of course, we're gonna assess the girl's current nail care state up close. You see all that new nail growth at the bottom here? Mm -hmm. That's about two and a half months of growth for me, and at that time, I stopped testing the nail care treats to see what happens. More on that later. Now, all the girls are looking rather crunchy with this polish that is, again, two months tired. Meanwhile, thumbnail's hangnail is still painfully hanging in there. And of course, pointer finger is currently tangled up with a curl friend from the wash day session that took place earlier this morning. Ooh, but this lifting polish has to go now. And no, it's not the best practice to peel off your polish because innocent layers of nail can come off with it. You know, as bad as the girls look right now, it's nails like this that make the most satisfying nail care transformations. Be it super soiled undersides, bleeding and sensitive hangnails, crunchy polish ready for a facelift, or any other nail pain that comes with this cold weather. Don't worry, there's a wholesome remedy for it all. Onwards. First things first, I wanna remove all the remaining nail polish from my nails, but I wanna do so in a non-toxic fashion. So I'm using some soy nail polish remover that I got from Amazon. It's super liquidy, like a thin oil, but you know, that makes sense. So I'll take a cotton round and drop some remover onto it and a little more non-toxic remover directly onto my crusty nails and let it sit. I definitely recommend putting a paper towel down because it gets super messy, but give this video a thumbs up or let me know in the comments if you want a full breakdown of the soy nail polish remover. And now that the girls are back to bare, it's time to clip them and we're gonna go from short nails to the shortest nails ever on this channel. I noticed that a few of you girls started cutting your nails back down after the last few nail videos, so for this one, I wanted to follow suit for the nail care culture. So I'll cut down the majority of my nails with the clippers, leave a little bit behind, and then file down the last bit manually. Now, how did I file? Well, using my trusty glass file and the two-way swipe. I found that when my nails are in the rough shamble state, it's better to start off two-way filing, and as it gets smoother, one-way filing makes the most sense. And now that thumb is done, I'll commence the filing frenzy on the other four fingers, just off camera. Okay, so now that the girls have absolutely no free edge left, you can see that the beds of my nails need some work too. They're dry, crusty, discolored, and just need a boost of some youth and some coof. Like seriously, look at that. I gotta go in with my trusty buffing block. This one has lasted a while, and I like that these things age well and become gentler over time. Now, the point of a buffing block is to gently even out the surface of the nail plate and make it easier for your nails to hold polish or absorb nutrients applied to the nail plate. I think of gentle buffing the same way I think of gentle facial exfoliation. It can be very helpful to give you a youthful appearance just as long as you don't overdo it. See, much better. Not perfect, but at least the old layers are away and the newness is here to stay. Now that the girls are clipped, sealed shut, and freshly buffed, it's time to give the girls a quick rinse with a mild soap and water. This is mainly to get all of the rest of the gunk, sediments, dirt, and grime off of my nails before applying the first treatment. 
which is the very versatile by Brittle Nails from the new Bundle Care Kit. I absolutely loved applying this nail treat underneath my nails during the test phase, but I'm wondering if we should have a rollerball or a dropper option of this as well. I'm kinda indecisive. Definitely let me know in the comments. Either way, this is a cool nail treat, especially after your nails undergo some nail trauma, like getting clipped, filed, or buffed back to back. I just apply a little bit of this stuff and let it sit on my nails for five to 10 minutes. Next, with my nails still oiled, I'm scooping out some sugar scrub and working that into my cuticles and hands for a good three minutes. And now that the girls are super smooth looking, I'll grab a shea butter base cream and massage that all over my hands. The links to everything presented in this nail care routine can be found in the description box below. Okay, now that the girls have been cut, cleaned, and quenched, I'm applying a coat of one of my favorite five free base coats by Coast Bell. And just like that, the girls have a whole new youthful glow for the nail care show, oh yes. But I'd like a little bit of extended moisture for the sake of the cooler weather, so I'm grabbing Cuticle Restored in this fall. How can you say no to some extra nail care nourishment? When you give your cuticle pen a light twist, one to two turns, you'll get a modest amount. And if you twist two times or more, you'll get a lot of oil to work with, which is good for drier cuticles, but cuts the cuticle restored party short. Either way, just rub your cuticle oil in and enjoy the glow and restoration. On the other hand, the 24K Nail and Cuticle Care Oil is a great choice if you need to use a nail goodie multiple times a day due to your lifestyle or intense work situation. All you gotta do is work it onto your hand to get the rollerball moving for the first time and then generously apply it to your cuticles and rub some onto your nail plate as well. And there we have it, super short nails glowing brighter than before. It was definitely worth the wait to transform the girls and get them glowing back to normal like nothing happened. And now that the short nail bounce back is finally complete, it's time to get into the latest news for the channel and the nail care treats. I'm happy to report that the bundle and dual care kits are back in stock. And it's been incredible reading every last piece of feedback from you guys and sharing some here and on the gram. You know, the other digital habitat for the girls to play in and the place where I share real-time updates, like when the latest batches of shipped nail care goodies are on their way. It's so fun making these stories and sharing the latest nail care goodies overall with you guys over there. Now, once you cut your nails off to get a fabulous fresh start, don't forget to take a picture of your freshly cut nails. This will definitely help keep you motivated along your nail growth journeys, serving as a gentle reminder of where you once started. Now, speaking of the nail care motivation, I also asked the gram if we should do a nail care vlogmas this year on YouTube, and it's happening for the first time ever. There is a lot of content to get through in the name of better natural nail care, so definitely stay tuned for the nail care vlogmas goodies that let us hear. So yes, I hope you girls enjoyed this short nail bounce all the way back to the beginning type tutorial and found it helpful for your better natural nail care practices. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, engaging, and rolling with me thus far. Take care and happy nail growing. I will see you very soon in the next one.